Morning. Um, this is not the two-week update for the meat chickens. It's actually a midweek update. They turned one week old this past Wednesday. Today is December 23rd, um, so they are about a week and a half. Um, we traveled yesterday. We drove all the way to Nakona, Texas to buy our beef because um, we don't buy meat at the grocery store. And I can't raise a cow here, so um, we have to purchase beef elsewhere. Um, so I drive to Nakona Meat Company and buy my beef there. Great, great beef. If you're ever looking for beef and you're in the state of Texas or close to Texas, um, I highly recommend that place. It's some of the best steaks and roasts and ground beef and stuff that I've ever had. But we did not clean out the meat chicken brooder yesterday because we were gone all day. Didn't get home until about 9 o'clock last night. Had to do um, feeding and watering chores so everybody would wake up with... Uh, fresh water and food and all of that good stuff um, But I want to show you what the meat chicken brooder looks like just after not cleaning it for one day um, We are raising um, my best friend's meat chickens. There is uh, I believe we're down to 140 now We've started with 144 so we've got 140 of these um, and Two brooders evenly this is what one of the brooders looks like. I've already cleaned the other one. I mean, this is absolutely gross. It is just caked in there. Let me get my putty knife and show you once I break it apart. That is what you what it looks like after one day of not cleaning it. Um, absolutely insane how much these things poop um, and how soiled they make these pine shavings. So. That is the reason why I clean these brooders out every single day. Um, I want to keep the chicks um, as clean as possible, healthy. I do not want them living in their feces. Um, yesterday was a rare event. We only travel to get our meat like that um, usually twice a year. And it just so happened that I'm raising these chickens um, at the time that I needed to go get that meat. Um, the end down here where they're all actually gathered is not as bad as what this end is. That's why they're kind of down here. Plus, we are outside. Um, it looks bad, but it's not as thick as what it is down there. Um, we are outside brooding these chickens. It is December, so they're a little cold right now. Um, I think it is right around 60 degrees, so it's not too, too bad, but they are still only a week and a half old, so they are a little on the cold side. Um, but yeah, that will conclude this video. I just wanted to kind of do an update to show you why I clean these meat chickens brooders every single day. Um, I truly think that it is necessary. Um, I had mentioned it to Devin, and she goes, oh, you don't have to clean them every day. And I said, oh, honey, yeah, I think I do. Um, and th this is why um, hopefully she will see this and, and she will understand that cleaning them every day is what I need to do to be able to take care of her chickens um, to the best of my abilities um, these over here I've already cleaned their brooder they are happy um, they've got fresh bedding now I do still have to fill up waters um, I did not fill them up last night when I got home so that one's down I've only got about a quarter left this one here is down so far that you can't it's got water in the tray but that water level is just right above that little red rim there so you can barely see it they are about to run out of water but we're going to get this cleaned out get their water uh, filled up top off the feeder they did eat quite a bit of feed yesterday um, while i was gone so that is the result of not topping off the feeder every day as well um, it will get down um, pretty pretty low but thank you for watching this video, and if you like it, please subscribe.